Illinois. For nearly a decade, KTA staff has been working on tasks associated with cashless tolling. The bulk of our work has occurred since 2020 when we publicly announced our intent to convert to cashless tolling. I'm proud to share with you today that our work is coming together right on schedule, and we will convert to cashless tolling at 12.01 a.m. this July 1st. Cashless tolling means there's no longer be on-road toll collection. All customers will keep moving starting July 1st, providing a safer customer experience. Let's look at how cashless tolling will work on the Kansas Turnpike. In 2024, KTA is transitioning to cashless tolling, but how will that work? Let's take a look. Rather than having toll plazas at each entry and exit, gantries with transponder sensors and cameras are being built along the mainline road in strategic locations between current toll plazas. From an infrastructure standpoint, here's how that looks. There will be 21 overhead toll gantries along the 236 mile roadway and drivers are charged a toll each time they use one. From there, drivers will be billed using either a compatible transponder or by using registration information based on the vehicle's license plate. If you're familiar with the highway speed lanes at Southern Terminal, East Topeka, or Eastern Terminal, they will operate exactly the same. One of the most exciting changes for drivers will be the elimination of congestion when exiting. No more waiting in line to pay a toll or getting stuck behind someone in the wrong lane. Over time, cash collection equipment and toll booths will be removed and entry exit ramp lanes will be reconfigured for an even more seamless and safe experience. For 70% of our customers who use a KTAC or compatible transponder, not much will change. Customers who typically stop and pay at the toll booth will be identified by license plate registration information and will have new options to pay. On July 1st, DriveKS will be Kansas' new toll payment system. Whether a customer has a KTAG or identified by a license plate, statements and other customer communication will come from DriveKS. KTAG accounts will automatically convert to DriveKS accounts once cashless tolling begins. On July 1st, when the Turnpike converts to cashless tolling, transactions rather than trips will be used to bill customers. Transactions allow flexibility and efficiency that hasn't been available through the Turnpike's existing trip-based system. More transactions will appear on the statement. This does not mean the customer will be paying higher tolls. In fact, the KTA board set new per mile toll rates in January. KTA already has one of the lowest toll rates. And when we convert to cashless tolling, the Kansas Turnpike will have the lowest per mile rate of any cashless system in the country. Customers using a KTAG will pay the lowest tolls. I encourage all customers to order a KTAG today at myktag.com. We recognize that this is a big change. It's the largest change for our customers since the Turnpike's opening day in 1956. Because of this, KTA is providing a virtual Go Cashless Toll Kit for our customers, which is available starting today at driveks.com. Customers can find a two-page summary about cashless tolling, FAQs, videos, and more to suit their level of interest in the project. Printed material is being provided to communities, partners and stakeholders throughout the region. With nearly 37 million trips taking on the Kansas Turnpike last year, half of those from out of state, we recognize the importance of communicating these changes both locally and nationally. I've talked about what a large change this is for customers and KTA as an organization, but I would be remiss if I didn't recognize a group of people who are deeply impacted by this change. They are our manual toll collection staff, the faces you see in the toll booths and the voices you hear when you ask for help at the cell pay machine. This group has been KTA's frontline customer service since the roadway opened. One of the most frequently asked questions about cashless tolling is what happens to toll collectors? When we started looking at cashless tolling a decade ago, we learned that nearly 70% of our toll collection staff would be at retirement age by this point in time. In 2019, KTA implemented an official workforce transition plan to minimize the impact to our staff. We've accomplished that. The plan is very successful, and we are happy to report that many collectors have moved into other positions at KTA. On behalf of the KTA board and the leadership team, I want to thank all toll collection staff who have agreed to stay through June to see the last customer serve at a toll booth. Additional information, including the Go Cashless Toll Kit I mentioned earlier, is available at driveks.com. On July 1st, this website will convert to a toll payment and account management site. But until then, it is your go-to site for cashless tolling information.
KTE staff is also available to help. We have Kansas-based customer service teams in Wichita, Topeka, and Lawrence who are available in person by phone, mail, or email. We appreciate you being with us today, and thanks again for your interest in the Kansas Turnpike's conversion to cashless tolling. And that was a update on the switch, excuse me, to um, cashless tolling on the Kansas Turnpike starting July 1st. Sounds like right after midnight um, this year, in just three months, um, announcing, of course, the virtual go kit, which you can find on driveks.com. And as Kansas Turnpike Authority CEO Steve Hewitt just said, you know, once that June 1st date comes along, driveks.com will become a place for you to pay if you don't have a K, uh, a K tag. Um, of course, another update on moving the staff that currently. Um, if you choose to pull over and pay um, with card or cash, if you don't have a K tag, um, those people are moving into other jobs, and some of them have chosen to wait, of course, until the last person, June, uh, June the end of June, June 30th, um, drives through before 12:01 midnight, July 1st. Um, that's it. That's all we have from the 12 News Digital Desk right now. Uh, of course, 12 News starts at noon, and that's about an hour and a half uh, from now. For now, from the 12 News Desk, I'm Keith Grant. Have a great rest of your day.